So welcome to 4.6. We're going to be working on distance first time graphs for the next two lessons. These are not linear functions. Linear functions are straight lines, the same straight line the whole way through. And you'll see that these are not that. All right, so we're going to find the speed of the, these two cars. So what do you do to find the speed of the car? Well, if it starts at zero and one hour later, it's gone one hour later, it's gone 100 miles. And two hours, it's gone 200 miles, right? And 300, three hours, it's gone 300 miles, and so on. Then it's going 100 miles per hour. Okay. The second one, the green one, so it's gone halfway to 100. Let's say that's 50 miles in two hours, right? Then it's gone 100 miles in four hours, and so on. It's going 25 miles per hour. Now, you could have done it that way, but let's also understand these speeds that we just calculated are the slope, right? This looks like a rise of two, but it's two boxes, and each box is worth 50, so that the rise here is 100, the run is 1 because each box is worth 1 there. Here, the rise is 50 and the run is 2. You're finding the slope. The slope is the speed of the car in these graphs. That were, or later, it's going to be a bike that's moving. But either way, to find the speed, you find the slope because the you know, slope is always the rate in the problem. Were both cars traveling at their same speed the entire time? Yes, we know that because it's a perfectly straight line. So that would be a yes. How can we tell which car was faster by just looking at the graph? Well, hopefully you realize the one that's more pointing up to the ceiling has to have a higher rate, a higher speed in this case. So car one, you know, without even calculating anything, you should know since the red ray is pointing more straight up, the rate was higher, the speed was higher. So this is what you're going to be seeing today. These are called distance versus time graphs. There's going to be a distance over here. I think I'm going to use miles every time, but it could be yards or feet or kilometers. And then on the bottom, some unit of time. I think today we're just going to use hours, but it could be minutes or seconds. So it's distance on the y-axis over here and hours on the x. Okay, so to find the speed, in each section, you find the slope. Now, so we're going to do this for each section here. So section A here. Now, we there, there's a good intersection there, there, there. I'm going to recommend that you do the whole section every time. And you'll see later in the lesson why that's the safe way to go. All right. So during section A, we went 150 miles and it took two hours, right? Well, that means... 150 divided by 2 is 75. We're going 75 miles per hour during section A. In section B, all right, in section B, we went 50 miles, right? We went, you know, you could do the subtraction, right? I, I'm doing it in my head, but it's 200 minus 150 for section B, right? Section B, the rate, or you could say it's two boxes long, and each one is worth 25, right? Each box is worth 25, so the went 50 miles, in this case, two hours. And so in section B, the car is going 25 miles per hour. Notice it bent down, it's slower. And one more time, section C, well, our rise there is just one box or 25 miles. It went, it went 25 miles or and it went there in two hours. Well, 24 divided by two is 12. So this is 25 divided by two or 12 and a half or 12.5 miles per hour. The other thing, notice how the, the graph is these three lines, but it's bending this way. And I want you to write that. And this is what slowing down looks like on these graphs. This this car is slowing down. It was going 75 miles in that first section, and then you can see the, it bends 
and slows down to 25 miles, then bends some more and slows down to 12.5 miles per hour. That is what decreasing speed or slowing down looks like in these graphs. All right. So anytime you have a horizontal section, section B is horizontal, the slope is zero. And that means the speed is zero. All right, and we'll see that right here. So section A, we're going to do the same way as the last one. You went 100 miles in two hours. That's 50 miles per hour. Now section B, just let's notice this. Let's understand it, right? It starts at 100 and ends at 100, right? So it went zero miles during that time. It went zero miles, eight minus two, in six hours. Right, for six hours, it didn't go any farther. It was 100 already at the beginning, right? That's zero miles per hour. And in section C, again, I'm gonna do the whole section here. It went from 100 to 200, 200 minus 100 is another 100, 100 miles, went another 100 miles, and it took two hours. So it's going 50 miles per hour again. And the second part of the note says, sections with the same slope have the same speed, right? Section A, section A and section C are parallel to each other, right? Parallel lines have the same slope. They have the same slope, cars going the same speed, all right? That's how it works. Okay, we're gonna do this again. So section A, so section A, the rise here is 25 miles. The run is five hours. This is going very slow. It's going five miles per hour. In section B, we went from 25 to 75. We went 50 miles. And it took two hours, right, from five to seven, two hours. So we're going 25 miles per hour. And in section C, we went right where that's 225 and this is what 75 so i might actually have to do some math here 225 minus 75 and i get 150 so it went 150 and you could do it this way one two three four five six six boxes up where each one is worth 25 is 150 that took two hours to do and so 150 divided by two this is going 75 miles per hour and i want you to notice how this one is bending, right? Earlier I showed you how slowing down looks. This is speeding up, all right? Notice, and you need to memorize these. This is what in these graphs speeding up looks like. You're going faster and faster, right? We started at five miles every hour, right? It took us five hours just to go 25 miles. Then we can speed it up a little in the blue section. We're going 25 miles per hour. And the, it bends up and then C, we're going 75 miles much, much faster. Okay, we're going to do this again. So section A, we went 75 miles in one hour, right? So 75 miles per hour. Section B, we went 25 miles in one hour. These are seem to be a very easy one. So 25 miles per hour. Section C, right? We went zero miles in two hours. Zero miles per hour. And then section D, we have, let's do this. We have one, two, three, four, and four out of 25 is 100 miles in two hours. We went 50 miles per hour. Okay. Curve graphs indicate the car is either speeding up or slowing down. You still find the average speed the same way. So this, right, so A, this is what I was showing you before, A, that, the way that's bent, that, anytime you see a bend in the curve in that direction, that's a speeding up vehicle. All right, or increasing its speed. Now, when you do these, you definitely have to do the whole section. That's why you, you might have options on the straight sections of how you find the slope. 
but here you have to find an average speed because it's not going the same speed the whole time. It's going slow at the beginning and fast at the end, and you're asked for the average speed. So in, during that whole section, we went 100 miles. Four boxes up, the rise is four, and one, two, three, four, five hours. So the average speed was 20 miles per hour. But at the beginning, it was going way slower than 20 miles per hour. Think about it. There's 25 miles. In two hours, we had only gone like 12 and a half miles. All right, that's way slower than 25 miles per, 20 miles per hour. But at the end, you're going way faster. Right there, right here where the two colors change, you're going really, really fast. Okay. So now we're going to do B, same thing. You, did, you need to do the whole section. So the rise is a, four boxes or 100 miles. And it's five hours again, and it's the same 20 miles per hour average. But in section B, that is what slowing down looks like or decreasing the speed. Okay, when it bends that way, it was going fast at the beginning. It's going very slowly at the end there. So let's do this. We're just going to change it up. We're going to ride a bike, but you do it the same way. So in section A, they went 16 miles in two hours, which is eight miles per hour. That's, by the way, that's normal, easy biking. You all can bike eight miles in an hour. Sounds like it's far, but if you just pedal and don't stop and take a break and talk to your friends, you all can bike eight miles in an hour. If you bike harder, you a little put a little effort in it, you can do 10 miles an hour. Section B. Uh, you went zero miles, right? It starts at 16, ends at 16, so you go zero miles in those two hours, which, yes, it's zero miles per hour. You're stopped. And in section C, right, we went from 24 minus 16, which is eight, eight miles in those last two hours from four to six, and you're going four miles per hour. That, on the other hand, is very slow biking. You can wa walk fast. If you're walking fast, you can go four miles per hour, right? Easy walking is three miles in an hour. Yes, in an hour, just walking can go three miles. All right, here we go. So section A, we're going 75 miles in one hour or 75 miles per hour. In section B, Right there, we went 25 miles in an hour, 25 miles per hour. Section C, anytime you see it's flat, you can just write zero miles per hour. And section D, I'm going to do the whole section, although you could have done part of it because it's straight. You only can do that when it's straight. 200 miles in what? Two hours. It's going 100 miles per hour. Now there's a little bit more here. You're going to label each one. Which section is speeding up? Which section is slowing down? And there's one section where you're driving at a constant speed. Well, hopefully you have A, that the way that's bent, that's speeding up. B is the one slowing down when it's bent that way, always. Now, D is when you're driving at a constant speed, right? C, you're at a constant speed of zero, but you're not driving, right? You're still. So driving at a constant speed is D. You're driving the exact same speed the whole time. That's what that means. All right, good luck on the homework.